So John Heyman, the guy who said Arson Judge appears to be heading to the Giants, not Aaron Judge, and then, you know, he signed with the Yankees. He said that Manny Machado will probably opt out after the 2023 season in test free agency. And I hate to say it, but I, I, I agree with the guy. But now let's not freak out because here's the thing. There's a 10-year, $300 million deal with opt-outs after the 2023 season through the rest of the contract. So each year has an opt-out after next year. And he's got to take it. I mean, he has to. He's worth so much more than that $300 million deal, especially as inflation rises and you see players who maybe aren't even as good as him getting signed for more. And he's going to be entering his age 30 season next year. He's not an old guy at all. I think that Machado's going to be really, really solid for at least five more years and then just pretty good player after. And, you know, then maybe he'll drop off a bit. But he needs to be a priority for us. And I do not blame him for opting out or wanting to opt out if he does. Because he deserves more money. That's the end of the line. That's bottom line. I think that we can really re-sign him. I still think Soto is obviously an option. But the thing with Manny is that we need to lock him up because we can't have him go to the Dodgers again or something crazy like that, even though they all hate him. But if all of a sudden they're all like, oh, let's get Machado because, you know, they don't care. They just want good players and he's a great player and he deserves more money. And I totally agree with that statement. With Machado, you got gold glove defense. You got a silver slugger. You know, he's a consistent player. He plays a lot of games. He doesn't usually get injured. Of course, the ankle injury happened this year. But I mean, look at how fast he came back. I think Manny is going to be opting out. I really do. But I think that we are going to be signing him. So I don't think we should be worrying about it. I don't know what the new contract may look like. I think he does want to stay in San Diego. I really do. I think he wants to win a chip with this team. You know, of course, he said like Hosmer is the first piece over. But I think Manny was what really got it started. Because then, you know, Fernando came. What do you want to say about him when he got called up in 2019? And Manny's just been consistent with us. And he obviously put the team on his back in 2022. I think that he will test free agency, but I think that he will be expecting to sign with us. And I think that will be a mutual feeling with the Padres and Machado. So let me know what you guys think. Do you guys think that he will opt out? And do you guys think that he'll want to stay with the Padres, but just sign for more money? That's what I think. Thank you guys for watching this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.